Hello guys, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to install pandas from scratch. So I'm assuming you have nothing installed on your computer and um, let's begin. So the first thing I do is go to Google and type anaconda. And I just click on this link brings up a company called Continuum Analytics and what they have is this program that will just install all the, the most popular Python packages that you're probably gonna need and let's see some of them and this is the list and the one we're interested is in pandas they do have the most current one here as of today I believe but sometimes they're not up to date but I'll just show you how to how to update them it's pretty easy so to download it you just click download anaconda and they're gonna ask you for an email I don't even know you gotta put it in but you could just make up make up an email it doesn't really matter submit so they have options for Linux uh, Mac and Windows I've tried it on Linux it works no issues I have not tried it on a Mac because I don't have one and I will be installing for this video I'll be installing a Windows one and I'll be using 64 bit but I'm sure 32 bit is the same it's around 340 megabytes so it'll take you you know between 10 20 minutes I'm not sure so I've already downloaded it and it should be here so let's install it so you get something like this anaconda um, there I guess on version 1.8 64 bit it's about 350 megabytes okay so let's go through the installation process next now I agree um, I'm not sure what I put here last time um, let's just go with the default and this is where it's gonna install it sure and uh, some advanced options I'm just gonna leave it default okay so installation has been completed next finish and you shall see an anaconda menu here that you could uh, start a, a bunch of stuff through here but I haven't really to be honest with you I've never used these I just go everything through the command prompt so before we continue let's go to the command prompt just type command you know down here and uh, let's try to make sure that the actual software we install is up to date so how we do that is we type conda um, update conda and uh, if this we have uh, I found version 2.25 and we have version 2.04 so this will be unlinked or basically deleted and then they're gonna put the new ones so do you wanna proceed yes or no yes we do okay that's that was pretty easy and then the next step you do conda update anaconda and it says this will be unlinked. This will be linked. Mm. It kind of went down. Huh. Well. We're going to say no to this one. It seems like they're going to give us an older version. Let's, let's just go now. 
So this is basically how you're gonna update uh, packages. So for example, let's say we wanted to upgrade pandas. So we'll go conda update and we'll just type pandas. And then it will just check to see if there's a um, higher version of pandas. So it says we have numpy 1.71 pandas.12 and scipy.13 and then it found the same numpy, the same pandas, but it has a higher scipy. So, sure, let's upgrade it. So that's basically how you're gonna upgrade um, packages. You're just gonna go conda and then space and then you're gonna type update and then you're gonna type space and then you're gonna type the package name. So that's why I like Anaconda. It's pretty easy, straightforward. It looks ugly, you know, visually. This is like, but it works. And it beats doing it by hand. So we'll just give this a second. Alright, um, we could also update some other packages. Um, like IPython this is have the latest version or we could try to update Tornado a web framework that I like to use it says I have the latest so we're pretty much done here so close this out and now you have an Iconda installed which installed pandas and you had the latest version of pandas so how do we open pandas how do we start coding in pandas and the way that I do it I I go start and I just go to the command prompt and I open ipython notebook so just type ipython notebook enter and if you're not familiar with ipython just Google it. It's basically a, a, an ID, a place you code, you code in. So it says that all your notebooks, all your coding files will be here. And see, yours is David. And yours will be different. And to get a new notebook, you just press new notebook, and we can start coding. So if you go import. Um, pandas as pd shift enter and then go print uh, version mm, pd dot I think this is how you do it there you go so we have pandas version 0.12 and that's it. You now have a pandas installed and you can now go through my tutorials and get familiar with uh, pandas. Thank you for watching.